hello everyone and welcome back to extreme gaming fever and guys in this video uh, i'm going to show you how you can harvest your grapes in farming simulator 23 and i will also show you how to work on grapes so that they can grow again with maximum possible yield so for that obviously we need to purchase this harvester which is the most expensive piece of equipment you need when you are working on the grapes then we also need this trailer and other tools as well so the remaining tools they don't cost that much but this harvester does so this is probably the most expensive thing that you are going to purchase while working on grapes so this new holland broad harvester that we will use to harvest our grapes so this is how this harvester is going to look like in farming simulator 23 and i will also give you an a, an interior view of this harvester so this is how this harvester is going to look like from the inside so since it's a harvester so i'm not expecting a lot of visibility and there is also some ins instrument cluster over here and on the back side you can see uh, the body of this harvester and this side has just provided you some visibility but yeah so now i'm going to hire a helper that will uh, you know maybe uh, deliver this trailer or go to near the near the near the grapes orchard with uh, that and uh, yeah i have connected our trailer with this tractor and the helper will drive this tractor with the trailer near the grape orchard and i will be driving this new holland harvester so yeah let's get inside this harvester and keep driving it so i wanted to show you how this harvester is when you are driving and how much maximum speed you can get so that's the 25 kilometers per hour limit and that's the only that's the maximum speed this harvester can achieve so yeah that's uh, it's a quite slow but considering that you only need this harvester for grape grape orchard and it's only going to work in that particular field and once you purchased it and once you have moved this harvester into your grape orchard then you probably don't need to worry about that uh, <laughs> about the speed of this harvester because 25 km i'm pretty sure it will only operate at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour when it's working in the orchard and that's that's totally fine for a harvester usually this is the maximum speed harvesters gives you when you're working with the harvester so yeah let's quickly go there and let's see so guys we are finally here and the tractor <laughs> on which i hired helper is already here it absolutely makes sense because he was in the tractor and the tractor is way faster than this uh, harvester but yeah we both are near the grape orchard and i still have not purchased this field i have to purchase this field before we can work on this field so you can see this is the grape orchard in the amberstone as some people would call it vineyard some people would call it uh, graveyard but i will call it the grape orchard for some reason because it's easy for me to call it like that so i'm sorry if i'm you know giving it a wrong name but that's what i like so i hope that you won't there won't be any problem with that so yeah let me align this harvester so this is the field number seven that is our grape orchard and here we go purchased it so now since i need also also need other tools so i'm hiring more helpers and now i'm back in my harvester so we will start harvesting this field so yeah this is the animation of this harvester when you turn it on it raises a little bit and i will i want to show you how it looks like from the front side wow so this is guys i am harvesting grapes for the very first time in farming simulator 23 mobile and i can't really believe that i'm doing it on a mobile game so let me show you this is how the grape vines will look like when there are grapes on them and this okay so this is how they look like when you have already harvested them so that uh, blue clusters of the grapes will disappear because you have already harvested them so yeah let's drive this harvester a little bit more and i was saying it's really insane and crazy that 
we are harvesting grapes on a mobile game and that's really incredible guys trust me wow so that's something i'm 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 very amazed of because uh, it's not easy to code all these stuff and also to model all this stuff and above all optimize this for mobile devices that's a lot of work and i really appreciate the efforts of giant software that they made this possible on mobile devices yeah so let's go so yeah this is uh, so I, I i believe uh, we are we can also hire helpers on this one and you can't really do such thing on PC version of this game so that's also some extra work done by giant software and I really really appreciate it and it will make game so much easy to play all right guys so we also need this small tractor because we cannot use the other tractors they are way too big for the <laughs> uh, for the space that we get uh, between the two rows of uh, grape vines so we need this small compact tractor from Landini. This is the Rex4 GT tractor from Landini and we are going to use it. So I have currently connected this mulcher with this tractor and I will hire a helper that will deliver this mulcher near the grape farm and also he will drive this tractor near the grape orchard. Yeah, let's see. So when you uh, assign a job to a helper the game will freeze for a while it's perfectly fine i have no complaints so yeah let's go back and purchase the cultivator i guess that's the cultivator or the subsoiler there it is so this right here is the subsoiler or cultivator but we need that whatever it is we need that for the grapes let's connect it and deliver it i will be delivering it by myself so let's go and drive it to our farm so guys this harvester is full now and I really wanted to show you how the animation of unloading grapes looks like so when this harvester is full if you have hired a helper and the harvester is full the helper will drive the harvester at, at the edge of the vineyard and it will be very easy for you to just drive your trailer near the harvester to unload the grapes from the harvester so they made this game so much easy working with grapes on in farming simulator 22 is way more complicated and complex than working uh, on grapes in farming simulator 23 but still this is a lot of work for beginners so that's why i'm making this guide or making this tutorial so yeah let's go back and let me show you it must have stopped in the middle of this row yes just like my expectations so what i will do here i will uh, hire a helper and drive this uh, harvester to that point where it has it has left the grape branches or uh, grape clusters and we will continue from there so yeah let's go and try to hide it so yeah the helper is working fine and it's working so we need this uh, trimmer as well so it's when I I you will use it when you will harvest your uh, grapes and the grape vines will turn into orange so you have to remove them with this tool otherwise your grapes will not grow so guys this is a very important step you cannot miss it otherwise your grapes will not grow and since this has this is already connected in front of our tractor why not we also bring this uh, sprayer with us the mercury 4000 l so now yeah, let's connect that sprayer as well and bring both of these tools at the grape orchard yeah let's go and drive both of these to our grape orchard so before that we need to fill this sprayer it is very important we can fill it at our farm on our farm so it will require 4000 liters of liquid fertilizers liquid fertilizer you can fill 4000 liter of liquid fertilizer inside this uh, this sprayer and then you can use it to fertilize your grape orchard 
if you want to <laughs> get more yield from your grape orchard it's full now six thousand dollars almost six thousand dollars not bad not bad anyways let's start and deliver these tools on the grape orchard so yeah guys we are finally here and now we need to disconnect both of these so all the tools i guess they will be parked here because it perfectly makes sense i'm not driving them back to the farm so now this tipper or the trailer of the grapes is full and we need to sell it because i because you cannot store grapes in your farm silos and there is no way you can store this in the hayloft you cannot store grapes by any means so either you can sell them or you can unload them at a production and start making grape juice or raisin which by the way is the next or upcoming video or uh, guide or gameplay of mine on my channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button 20 almost twenty thousand dollars not bad nineteen thousand three hundred and seventy four dollar not bad not bad since it was not the best season to sell the grapes so guys now uh, that we have the wines which have turned into orangish or something like that this this indicate this step indicates that we need to trim our grape wines otherwise the grapes will not grow back so you have to do this this is a very important step guys don't skip this otherwise your grapes will not grow again so this is a very important step so we are currently removing these grape wines which have done their thing and they gave us the grapes so in order to get new grapes from these we need to remove them so this is where i will show you how the setup looks like if you use an interior camera and i guess this setup is much better than using the exterior camera because you will always have you will always you can always see where your tool is going and where your tractor is going so i guess i would prefer this first person perspective over the third person perspective over here so yeah you need to do this for all the grapevines but since i'm making a tutorial i will skip it but you have to do this for all the rows so now after we have chopped down those vines you will see after skipping some time you will see green vines on on this structure once again they will grow because you have already removed the previous old vines so now we need and this there will also this grass will grow and we need to use a mulcher over here so guys this is a once again a very important step because if you will not mulch the grass and you will not use cultivator after mulching you will not get the maximum possible yield so these are very important so you are using this grass as a fertilizer and you are using this mulcher to mulch this grass and you are using after that you will use the cultivator to you know really mix this grass with soil so it's kind of like a like a fertilizer the grass will act as a fertilizer plus it will not drain other useful minerals that your grape vines required from this soil so yeah that's what i have come up with but yeah this is an important step so after you have mulched your <laughs> grape vines you need to get this tool and use it on your on in your grape orchard so you can see currently we have a 30 percent yield bonus or 20 percent it depends because i have not done a perfect job here so because i'm just making a tutorial but you can take your time and do it perfectly so yeah let's go and can I, uh, you start using this cultivator and then i will show you how the yield if if it affects the yield or not so yeah let's go you can simply drive it in the middle of these two rows and you will be fine so i'm just doing it like that and then we will see at the after reaching at the other end of this row we will see if, ha if it has increased any yield bonus or not okay so all right so now i will be doing it for the last row and then we will be good to go to our next step 
so yeah this is it basically you can hire a helper you don't have to do this all by yourself but i'm just so showing you how it can be done helpers can do it for you no problem at all and the helpers are very well optimized they will not misbehave at any means and will not create any problems because they are perfectly programmed for working in this so now the final step is to use this sprayer you can use this sprayer to fertilize your grape orchard and it's really really interesting and it sprays or spread the fertilizer in a circular in a circular manner and you can see uh, this looks really really cool guys and this is probably the best sprayer i have seen and now let me show you how the yield bonus is doing so yeah we have we at some spots we are getting 100% yield and at some spot we are getting less because i have not done a a good job at uh, doing the mulching and the cultivating thing but you can take your time and do it perfectly and then you will also get 100% yield from your grape orchard so yeah let's do this again and just we'll keep doing this uh, fertilizing so i will go in this direction you can skip a row if you want to but i will not so i will go in the next row and start using the sprayer again so guys after you have done spraying you can skip some time and you will see the beautiful grape clusters in no time so this is how you work on grapes in farming simulator 23 I hope that he, uh, this video will help you. If it does, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I will be making more videos, guide, guide videos and tutorials of Farming Simulator 23 soon. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye bye.